Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe at home. Myself, Ankita Dubey. I welcome you all to our English lessons. I hope you all are having fun learning English through videos. So today, we are going to discuss about adjectives. Adjectives are the spices that add flavor to the English language. Everyone loves listening to a story if it is filled with great descriptions. So we can say that adjectives are the best parts of speech. When used correctly, they can change any old sentence into something special. So today in this video, we are going to discuss meaning and kinds of adjectives. Okay students, have a look at the given pictures. When you observe these pictures, which are the words that come to your mind? Maybe when you looked at the first picture, you thought of a red rose or a beautiful flower. And after looking at the second picture, maybe you thought of a tall girl or a fat girl. In the third picture, you could think he is a fat man or an old man. And after looking at the fourth picture, you might think that it is a cute puppy or a little puppy. Am I right? So, the words that we use to describe these pictures are called adjectives. So, today's topic is adjectives. Before moving on to adjectives, I always emphasize on this thing that you know the actual meaning of the word. So, what's the word adjective really means? Now, adjective has this word add in it, right? In maths, you must be knowing the meaning of addition and subsection. So, adjective means to add something. Here you will think adding what? So, adding means you are going to describe a little more about the noun or pronoun. For example, if I say that my friend's name is Joy. And if I talk about Joy more and say that Joy is a nice person. Here, I am adding something more about joy. So, any word that adds or describes more of a noun or a pronoun is called an adjective. So, let's read the definition first. Words that are used to describe a noun or pronoun are called adjectives. We can also say that adjectives tell more about the kind, quality, quantity, etc. of the noun or pronoun. Let's understand adjectives better with the help of these examples. Let's take the first sentence. Anna is a beautiful girl. Now, I want you to identify noun or nouns in this sentence. So, there are two nouns. First one is Anna, which is a proper noun. And the second one is girl. Can we spot the adjective here? Which is a word that gives more information about the noun? Yes, you got that right. It is beautiful. And the word beautiful here gives us more information about the girl in the sentence. Let's look at the second sentence. The enormous cake is not for sale. Let us identify the noun here. Okay, so we have cake, a noun, and sale is a noun as well. But which one is the adjective? Yes, you guess, you are guessing it right. It is the word enormous because it is giving us more information about the noun cake. So, I hope it's clear to you. Now, we will be moving on to kinds of adjectives. Now, we will discuss about kinds of adjectives. What are the different kinds of adjectives? These are adjectives of quality, adjectives of quantity, adjectives of number, demonstrative adjectives, interrogative adjectives, possessive adjectives, emphasizing adjectives, proper adjectives, participle adjectives, nouns as adjectives and now we are going to discuss them one by one. Okay, let's move on. Now, the first type of adjective that we have is adjective of quality. Now, what do we mean by quality? Yes, quality means 
something the characteristic or feature of something adjective of quality indicates the shape size color quality of a person or a thing for example if you are describing your friend or you are describing your teacher like she is a very good teacher so the word good will be the adjective of quality let's read the definition adjective of quality expresses the kind or quality of a person or a thing so the example here is ishita is a brave girl in this sentence you can see that the girl is a noun ishita is again a noun and you are telling more about ishita that she is a brave girl and that is her quality so the word brave will be the adjective of quality some more examples of adjectives of quality are honest kind thin bulky smart etc now we will be moving to the next kind of adjective adjectives of quantity by quantity what do we mean yes quantity is something like when we talk about amount of something let's read the definition these adjectives simply answer the question how much of a noun or pronoun adjectives of quantity are used to describe the quantity of uncountable nouns we can also say that these adjectives are measuring words that modify the noun they indicate the quantity of the noun or pronoun they describe they are used with uncountable nouns now let's see the example the crow saw pebbles and some grass nearby now over here grass is a noun and some is the word which is describing grass so the word describing grass some is an adjective also some is telling us about the quantity of grass so if i ask you how much grass was there the answer will be some so some is an adjective of quantity now we will talk about adjectives of number before getting into it what do you think the word number really means yes number means numbering something something that you can count so in adjectives of number you can actually count the nouns as well as the pronouns for example if you are asking me ma'am how many ch chocolates do you have in your bag so answering the question i say that i have two chocolates so here i can number the chocolates i have so two will be the adjective of number let's read the definition these adjectives tell us that how many nouns or pronouns are being talked about they indicate the number of noun or pronoun they describe they are used with countable nouns have a look at the example below there are five mangoes in the refrigerator here you are talking about mangoes now you are quantifying them you are numbering them okay so you are saying that there are five mangoes in the refrigerator so five will be the adjective of number let's move on to our next kind of adjective demonstrative adjectives so as the name suggests demonstrative means to show okay something that points out let's read the definition adjectives that indicate or point out a particular noun or pronoun are called demonstrative adjectives the example is this dress is expensive now i am talking about the dress but whereby i am demonstrating it like i am pointing out at it like i am saying this dress is expensive so here this will be the demonstrative adjective few more examples of demonstrative adjectives are this that these those and so on interrogative adjectives words like what which whose when are used with nouns and pronouns to ask questions are called interrogative adjectives for example which bouquet do you want to buy so bouquet here is the collective noun as you remember and the word which here will be an interrogative adjective because it is accompanied by a noun now moving on our next kind of adjective 
emphasizing adjectives these adjectives are used to emphasize or stress on the noun they qualify for example this is the very dress i want to buy the word very is used as an emphasizing adjective to show the particular dress i want very qualifies the noun dress the number of words which are often used as emphasizing adjectives are very own really perfect etc possessive adjectives possessive adjectives show possession or belonging they usually answer the question whose these adjectives show who owns something or to whom something belongs for example my house your room our dog we also use them for people my parents your aunt our friend for example i cannot find my pen my pen the pen that belongs to me so in this sentence my is the possessive adjective proper adjectives proper adjectives are formed from proper nouns and they modify nouns and pronouns have a look at the example below i love italian culture the word italian is a proper adjective and it is formed from the proper noun italy always remember that proper adjectives typically look like their original proper nouns but have some sort of alternative ending for example if i say he lives in america america is a proper noun as it is the name of a country and if i say he likes american holidays here american is a proper adjective because it is formed from the proper noun america participle adjectives these adjectives are verbs used as adjectives their function is to describe nouns there are two types of participle adjectives present participles and past participles both present participles and past participles can be used as adjectives the participles which end in ing and represent an ongoing action are called present participles the participles which represent a completed action are called past participles they usually end with ed d t en or n take a look at the following examples i enjoyed english class at school as it was very interesting in the first sentence the participle adjective is interesting it looks like a verb as it ends in ing but it is an adjective as it describes the noun class second example do not wear the tattered dress similarly in this example the participle adjective is tattered looks like a verb as it ends in ed but it is an adjective as it describes the noun dress you can pause the video and read rest of the examples for more clarity nouns as adjectives some nouns are used as adjectives this happens when one noun modifies the other noun we can also say that when two nouns are used together in a sentence then the first noun acts as an adjective and the second one acts as the noun nouns as adjectives are always placed before the second noun in a sentence which they describe for example our science teacher was absent yesterday the noun science precedes the noun teacher and is used as an adjective take a look at some more examples mr smith is my history teacher we will first pick out the nouns in this sentence we have mr smith which is the proper noun then we have teacher then we have history so we have three nouns do we let's look at the sentence again the word history normally is used as a noun but in this case is used as an adjective because it modifies the noun teacher 
so this becomes our adjective let's look at the second sentence anna loves playing computer games i'm going to give you a few seconds you look at it and identify which is the noun and which is the adjective here so you are thinking it right the proper noun is anna in this sentence and we have two more nouns computer and games which one do you think is the adjective here yes you are right it is computer because it is modifying the noun game in this particular video we have discussed meaning and kinds of adjectives let's summarize now what is an adjective an adjective is a word that describes a noun or pronoun let me give you an example vijay is a smart boy here we are describing the quality of vijay by telling that he is a smart boy so the word smart is an adjective in this sentence students we have already discussed about kinds of adjectives now we will again go through the kinds of adjectives with one example of each adjective of quality he is a noble man now man is the noun in this sentence the word noble is the adjective that tells us something about the quality of man therefore the word noble is an adjective of quality second is adjective of quantity i have enough knowledge here the word enough describes the quantity of knowledge i have next is adjective of number rohan came first in the class here first is the rank or exact number rohan got in the class demonstrative adjective that pen is mine here we are pointing out that pen so the word that is the example of demonstrative adjective interrogative adjectives words like what which whose when are used with nouns and pronouns to ask questions are called interrogative adjectives example whose bicycle is this here we are asking question by using the word whose possessive adjectives possessive adjectives are used to show possession or ownership my mother is here in this sentence using the word my we are showing ownership proper adjectives example japanese toys are very beautiful here the word japanese is a proper noun as it is formed from the proper noun japan emphasizing adjectives emphasizing adjectives are used to emphasize the noun they modify example i saw the thieves with my own eyes here own is the word that is emphasizing the noun eyes participle adjectives participle adjectives look like verbs but they are really adjectives their function is to describe nouns example a rolling stone gathers no moss here the participle adjective rolling qualifies the noun stone next is nouns as adjectives nouns also function as adjectives when they precede the noun they modify take a look at the example apple juice is good for health in this sentence the noun apple precedes the noun juice and is used as an adjective all right students i hope meaning and kinds of adjectives are clear to you and we will meet in our next video till then take care and keep learning